Uh, then we have the Dreamer's Sash. We got that from, I believe, uh, Flea uh, is the one that officially gave this one to us. Start you off in battle with your element power level increased by two. Obviously, the Dreamer's Sarong is better than that, uh, but it is now available to us. Uh, let's see. There's, there's more here. Uh, we got the Winged Shoes. That's what I stole. It increases your evade percentage by uh, 15%. Uh, didn't we get that from... We got that from Flea. Uh, that's probably why I had a little bit of trouble stealing it from Flea, because of the evade percentage, but evade is really not that important to me in a fight at this point, especially. Uh, there was more! There we go! Third Eye improves your hit percentage by at least four. Uh, probably gonna be higher than that. Do I have anybody in my party that like is worse. I guess Fargo is technically worse, but uh, not by much. So we'll have to see if somebody else has just terrible accuracy hit percentage so that I can try it out. No, it's exactly by four. All right, so it increases your hit percentage by four points. Not necessarily my favorite, but it is there. Uh, then we do have the Slasher, which should be a weapon. Um, I have to think who can actually use that isn't it oh no it is just kind of a sword uh so that can go on to fargo as you can see it is better than the stone sword i'll have to check to see if it's better than the uh prism sword but definitely an upgrade over stone it seems comparable with the prism uh just looking at it like that can you use that probably not but I want to give it a look just in case. No, unfortunately, Kid cannot use the slasher. It is a full-on sword, so Kid does not have access to that. All right, with that done, we have, by the way, completely finished our doppelgang list. That, uh, that is the battle with the last three doppelgangs. We can have Ozzy, Flea, and Slash in the Grand Slam, which I do plan on showing off. I'll try to spread them out but they are, they are good. They're the best doppelgangs in the game. And once you have them, who cares about doing any other doppelgangs? Although, who cares about doing doppelgangs? But that is now done. I'm gonna get a different party together so that we can take on the final boss and we will take it on the wrong way, which is kind of the normal way. Uh, definitely the way that I took it on the first time because I'm not used to using music to win a final boss fight, but we will show off winning normally in just a bit. All re-equipped and hopefully ready to move on, I have brought a party of Surge, Guile, and Razly along today, and I have at least equipped them properly. Surge is now on the Master Mune, Prism Mail, Dragoon's Glory, which does carry forward into your New Game Plus file. I was told that it didn't, but it totally does. Uh, sunglasses and Prism Helmet. Sunglasses because in this party, he still actually has the highest attack, so he gets the sunglasses. Uh, Guile is equipped with the Rainbow Rod. I went ahead and made that. Prism Mail, Prism Helmet, Dragoon's Glory, and Power Seal. I actually have three of these now. I don't really have that much of a problem using all three this time. It's not really actually helping as much as it was in the first run through. And then Razzly is still on the floral rod. I did check the rainbow rod and it actually does increase her attack by one and her hit percentage by two uh, should I upgrade her to the rainbow rod. But it felt like I should just keep her on the floral rod. After all, this was like her sister's like dying gift to her. So we're going to leave that on her for now. Uh, she also has the Prism Mail, Dragoon's Glory, Prism Helmet, and Power Seal. On top of that, I have done a little bit of work with the Rainbow stuff. Uh, just kind of hoarding it right now. Uh, I, I'm not sure I actually got every last uh, Rainbow Shell, but I got close. And that, honestly, at this point, is all that I really need. Uh, so, at this point, I now have 26 spare rainbow shells. There are some that are in weapons, there are some in armor, there are some that are in uh, prism helmets, stuff like that. But I have 26 
spare rainbow shells as of this point, and I'm almost maxed out on Denaderite, and I am maxed out on Mithril. In terms of the shiny stuff, I have at least seven of everything, uh, nine shiny dew, 11 uh, soot, and 15 salt. Uh, the reason that I'm kind of pointing that out is because this might be the file that I use continue plus on, so that I keep on doubling it and doubling it and doubling it. Uh, but I might just carry this forward to a third playthrough and then I go all the way through and then I double that. Uh, so we'll get that maxed out pretty quickly, I have a feeling. So that's where I am right now. Should be ready to go. Surge is the only one that's actually allocated properly. Uh, Guile and Razly were auto allocated. I really don't think I need to deal with that too much at this point but we are ready to head to Opasa Beach and we are going to actually go through this aren't we keep on forgetting like you can't do it from another world it has to be home world in particular it's a little weird that way it is home world isn't it it's, it's just a little weird for me that these guys are here. And hopefully you did talk to them. I'm not sure I did the first time that I played. Uh, so let's head over here and use the time egg. Remember, you can technically do this at any time. And I'll go over what happens when you do it at any time uh, throughout a new game plus. But right now, it's time to take on the time devourer. No beginning and no end to the darkness of time. So yeah, if you skip all their dialogue, you have no idea what's going on with the Time Devourer. We just squeezed it in at the end there. And we take on the Time Devourer. Yeah, imagine playing this game for the first time, you're like, what's the little girl doing on the Time Devourer? It kind of looks like Kid, right? Like. All right, anyway, we're going to just plain kick the Time Devourer's ass. That's our goal today. That's what we're gonna do. Well, it's not going to work if you miss. But as you can see, uh, the Time Devourer actually really does like using green elements for whatever reason. Uh, so if you want to put green plates on uh, your party members, uh, that will actually help quite a bit. Look at Guile go. Look at you go. All right, so we have, uh, yeah, let's do Wanda's. No, that's your level five. Let's use your level three, Wanda in. It's been a long time since we've seen Wanda in. I remember doing a lot of damage. Four fifty nine. not as much as I was hoping for, to be honest with you. But, I mean, it's something. Better than a level one attack. All right, here comes the blue special. Like I said, for whatever reason, it really does like using green elements. I, I'm not sure why. Do you have any real attack ones? We have Raz Star. Smack it with your star. Oh. Bopped it right on the head with a giant star for 300 and something damage. All right, Surge, go in. Unfortunately, this thing is strong against you, right? It is, it is strong. Um, let's go for, let's, yeah, let's start with the dash and slash. It's considering doing a flying arrow, but we can save that for a little bit. At 561, that's why Guile is so damn strong against it. Keep going, though. We'll keep going. Not back up to full stamina, though, like I would like. All right, well, at least Razzly is. Uh, let's go for Lightning Rod. Did we ever get to see this? Charge Magic Wand with Lightning to Zap Foe. A lot of these level 7 techs I'm not remembering showing off anymore. If I did so many of them in rapid succession, it wouldn't surprise me if I did. Just, I don't remember. There we go, over a thousand damage. That's what I like to see. And keep in mind, there's over a hundred techs, so I have a little bit of trouble keeping them all straight sometimes. All right, 
400 more damage. And yeah, we're not going to be able to get that kind of stuff off. But let, we can go for a Raz Flower. Let's make everybody really strong when it comes to our magic attacks. Yay! We're all protected. Magic temporarily increased. All right, we'll go one, two, two. And then we'll go for free fall. Have a couple of those. Like I said, surge is properly allocated. Four sixty one, not not as much as I would like. Like I said, the magic towards the end, I just I'm just not buying that it's the way to go. Here comes Omega Green. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, just go for the regular attack. I don't know why everybody's so low on stamina. I'm trying to, to figure that one out myself. Yeah, we don't really have much for you there, do we? You know what? Everybody defend. Get back up. Let's get back up to seven. It did about the same when he was defending. As opposed to when he wasn't defending. Really? Really? Alright, flying arrow. Seven forty eight, that's what I like to see. Guile, you are up. Let's see what you can do if you land the shot. It's not that dodgy. Go for a wand of swords. Make up for your mistakes here. Six fifty-eight between the two, between his level three and level seven. That's pretty much what you would expect. <laughs> 